Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Ace Dudes family, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's doing good and perfect. Well, today I have a recipe for you guys, and we are going to be making beef potato balls. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your potato, you're going to peel them. Okay, make sure you clean it real good. And I'm not going to do all of them for you guys because I know I'm, I'm sure that you guys know how to peel potatoes, right? So, then when you finish doing that, you're going to get a pot with some water, right? And you're going to put the potatoes in. And you're going to let them cook. You're going to let the fire do the work, right? And then, once you do that, you leave them there like for maybe 20, 25 minutes boiling. And then when you finish, you're going to go back and see if they done. How do you check if they done or not? You could take a knife or you could take a fork. I did the fork. So if the four go through, that means it's done. If it don't go through, it's not done. So if it's done, you're going to take it out. You're going to strain the water. We don't want no water in the potatoes. You got to make sure it's real nice and dry, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. You're going to get some flour, okay? I have a little bowl here, like a little plate. And I'm going to put one spoon of flour, Okay, so once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to get like a pan or whatever you got close to you, okay? A plate, whatever. I got a bowl, okay? Um, you're going to come and mash the potatoes, but you're not going to smash them into they go like liquid potatoes. You're going to smash them, but you want to let a little big pieces in there. You know what I mean? Um, so you, but you, go, you do it real slow. Take your time with it. Don't overdo it. Because if you overdo it, it's not going to work. Okay? Don't go crazy in there now. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Remember, if you don't do this recipe, you ain't popping. You want to be popping like me? Do this recipe. Try it. Maybe the first time, you ain't going to get it, you know? The second time, you're going to get it. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. So now what you're going to do is remember to wash your hands. Because you're going to put your hands in, in that mix right there. So, clean those hands real good. Disinfect them before you touch the food, okay? Make sure you do that. Thank you. Okay, so now you're going to get the flour, and you're going to put two spoons of flour in the mix of the potatoes, okay? And then you're going to get some salt, you guys, okay? You put salt to your preference. Like I told you guys before, I don't have no measurements. I know how to cook my food, so I, be, I know how to eyeball it, if that makes sense. Okay, so then what you do is, okay, <laughs> you're going to come in here and you're going to put your hands in there and mix everything up, okay? And I'm sorry, this bowl, is the bowl look like it's going to fly, you guys. I can't do nothing about it. The bowl want to fly from my hands. Hey, can't do nothing but hold it. So you're going to keep mixing and mixing and mixing so you get the, you're going to know when it's done, okay? You're going to feel like, um... The potatoes kind of heavy, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna know, so you're gonna keep moving it. I say you keep moving in like five minutes with no stop, if that makes sense. Um, like I'm doing right there, you see me, and you're gonna get your hand dirty, but it's fine, you could go back and watch them. Okay, so look, I'm showing you guys right there, see how it looks. Okay, you see. So when it's like that, you guys, it's done. Then you're going to get the ground beef. I did not did the recipe of the ground beef because I know everybody know how to do ground beef, right? So I was like, I'm not doing that, girl. You're crazy. Mm -mm. That's too much work for me, child. I know everybody know how to do ground beef. So I'm going to show you how you do it. So you put a spoon of ground beef in the middle of the potato. And then you're going to try to close it real slow, okay? Don't go crazy on it because you're going to break it. And if you break it, I'm not there to help you, okay? <laughs> so you're going to do it real soft. You know, you got to be gentle. Be gentle with the baby. Okay? Be gentle with the baby. And then you're going to try and make it like a ball shape. But do it slow. Don't go crazy because you're going to break it. And if you break it, you can't do it again because the meat is going to wet it. You're going to have to throw it away. Okay? So look, I did it real slow, you see? I'm going to do another one with you guys. Pay attention. Claw attention. I'm not going to go into too much details. Just look. 
Open your eyes. Open your eyes and look at me. Ooh. Okay, so look. And this is another trick, you guys. When you put the potato in your hands, if you could try and make like a hole in the middle. Not a hole, like you're going to have a hole. But push it in where you could put your um, meat in there. It's going to be easier for you to close. You know what I'm saying? I did mine big because it's only me and my husband. But if you have a lot of people in your family, you can make them smaller. And it's perfect. Look at that, you guys. Don't that look so cute? Don't that look beautiful? You look so beautiful. So you keep doing the same thing side to side. You know? And now what we're going to do is I'm finished here. I did all of them. So what you do is you put a little bit of flour in your hands. And you take each potato ball and you try to put a little bit of flour. Not that much. You know, like, 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 touch them. That's it. Touch all of them and that's it. Don't go crazy on them, okay? Because the way we did it, they're not going to break. They're not going to do nothing. They're going to cook perfect and they're going to be good, okay? So now what we're going to do is, you guys, we're going to come to over here. We're going to bring them over here and we're going to put them in the fire, Okay? And then when you move them, make sure you move them gentle, okay? Because you want them to cook every way. You don't want to cook one side, one side you don't want to cook, okay? But you have to be gentle with this. So, guys, I hope you like this recipe. Remember something. If you don't do this, you ain't popping. You are not popping. So, I'm not even going to tell you no more because it's just you're going to see everything here. It's going to finish cooking and you're going to see the plate. So I hope you enjoy this recipe, you guys. I hope you can um, do it in your house. And if you have kids, this is a good recipe for them. You know, come from school, give them two, eat it, take a shower and go to bed. Um, and that's it, you guys. So look at the way it is, you guys. They look so beautiful. Don't they look beautiful? You want one? Do you want one? So I'm going to break one apart for you guys to see how it looks in the middle. So that's the way it looks, you guys. Make sure y'all do this recipe in your house. And if you don't do it, you ain't popping, okay? So remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit that post notification for you to get notified every time I upload a new video. And remember, if you're not here, I'm not there. And if you're not here, you ain't popping. Ha! Holla! Popping, popping, popping in the building to you.